When you think of a world in crisis, what comes to mind? A global pandemic or a severe hurricane, deadly restrictions on abortion care. Responding to crises is not new for women and marginalized communities. Feminist movement leaders have been at the forefront of crisis response for decades. Global Fund for Women has been investing in a feminist response to crisis by supporting collective efforts that address the root causes for the crisis. All crises have a gender lens. When a crisis hits, it's really the community organizers, the activists, community-based organizations that do the immediate response. It's really not any other sector. It's not government at times. It's really communities that organize themselves. We have three rules that guide our collaborative feminist approach to crisis work. Our first rule, listen. In Sudan, peaceful transition to democracy was interrupted by a military coup in 2021. The Sudanese military has attempted to silence women and protesters with sexual and gender-based violence. Throughout this crisis, Global Fund for Women has partnered with Sudanese women as they lift up women's voices to build a democratic society. The people who are most affected are always supposed to be the decision makers of their own destiny. Grassroots women, local community leaders and activists, young feminist groups, they are, you know, the, the groups that really have the energy and the motivations to lead change. Our second rule when it comes to crisis work, stick around. In 2017, multiple states in Mexico experienced a powerful earthquake. We partnered with Fondo Semillas as they worked to mobilize resources and help over 25 grassroots groups rebuild affected communities, making sure the needs and perspectives of women, girls, and gender non-conforming people are at the center of discussions. What we notice is that in general, when an emergency occurs, all of the assistance comes in the first three months. And then the assistance and, and the support will go away. They give flexible and general support that really help us to build the pillars of the program, but also to respond rapidly with money to what we were seeing that was the most urgent necessities to cover in that moment. Our third rule, keep it flexible. In response to the 2017 total abortion ban in Poland, Global Fund for Women provided funds that help Astra Network, a coalition of groups dedicated to defending women's reproductive rights and opposing gender-based violence in Central and Eastern Europe. The flexible funding allowed partners within Poland to connect and fill a gap to work within the community to address this health crisis head on. We organized a massive protest in the whole country, not only in big cities in Warsaw, Krakow and Poznań, but also in small cities and even in villages. It was very difficult for women from small towns and villages to come into streets, but they did this. Our three rules, listen, stick around, and keep it flexible, distinguish us from traditional crisis philanthropy, and move us towards a future where crisis can be addressed with care, deep listening, support, and understanding. It's not about one person or it's not about one entity, it's about the collective. In times of crisis, feminist community and movement leaders rebuild. That's why Global Fund for Women is here. So be bold and join us.